For a long time, astronomy and cosmology have been shaped by the concept of dark matter, believed to be the dominant component of the universe. However, physicists are now challenging this notion, moving towards a new theory of gravity. This shift is prompting a revision of many old theories about the universe's origin, marking the dawn of a new era in science. Without dark matter and dark energy, how will our understanding of the universe change? What roles do the fundamental forces and the discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope play in this new paradigm? Many people, like you, might have believed in the reality of dark matter, which was long accepted as a given in scientific circles. However, both dark matter and dark energy were essentially placeholders, ideas used to fill gaps in scientific explanations. The James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries are now challenging these old beliefs. Images from space are revealing a universe that was more developed 13.6 billion years ago than the Big Bang theory would suggest. Contrary to expectations, the universe doesn't appear young, instead, it seems ancient, with no signs of the hypothetical first giant stars. Rather, there are mysterious and massive structures that defy the notion of a youthful universe. This suggests that our universe may be much older, or perhaps even eternal. This realization undermines many of the assumptions that have underpinned astrophysics for over a century, particularly regarding dark matter. How did scientists come up with the concept of dark matter? Surprisingly, the history of dark matter dates back to Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century. Newton's theory of universal gravitation revolutionized our understanding of the natural world, describing how all objects in the universe attract each other through gravity. While Newton's laws accurately described planetary movements for centuries, anomalies eventually arose that couldn't be explained by gravity alone. One such anomaly was the peculiar orbit of Mercury, which couldn't be entirely accounted for by Newton's laws. This led to the hypothesis of an unknown planet, Vulcan, influencing Mercury's orbit. Despite efforts to find Vulcan, it became clear with improved telescopes that no such planet existed between Venus and the Sun. The unexplained deviation in Mercury's orbit persisted, becoming a catalyst for the idea of additional invisible matter. In the 1930s, a Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky coined the term, dark matter. Zwicky studied clusters of galaxies and noticed that the visible mass of galaxies was insufficient to explain their gravitational effects. He proposed the existence of a form of matter that does not emit or reflect light but has enough mass to cause these effects. This marked the beginning of the dark matter concept. Over the following decades, further observations supported this hypothesis. Vera Rubin's observations in the 1970s, for instance, showed that stars in galaxies' outer regions moved faster than expected based on visible mass alone. This suggested the presence of additional, unseen mass, leading to the re-emergence of dark matter as a significant concept. Despite these observations, dark matter has remained a major unsolved question in physics. Its exact nature is still unknown, and attempts to detect it have so far yielded no direct evidence of its existence. Recent discoveries by the James Webb Space Telescope have raised doubts about dark matter in scientific circles. Discrepancies, such as variations in the Hubble constant, which describes the universe's expansion rate, suggest potential issues with our understanding of cosmology. The Hubble constant, which should yield consistent measurements, has shown discrepancies among different measurement methods, termed the Hubble tension. These inconsistencies indicate that errors may have affected our assumptions about the universe's expansion, possibly related to dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter is proposed to account for gravitational effects that visible matter alone cannot explain, while dark energy explains phenomena like the universe's accelerated expansion. Despite efforts, neither force has been definitively proven, even with the particle accelerator in Geneva. We need to carefully reconsider and seek new explanations for the universe's existence and the forces driving it. An alternative explanation for gravitational phenomena exists. Did you know that there have been significantly different approaches to explaining cosmic movements and the relationships between celestial bodies for many years? One of these alternative theories is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND. This concept suggests that gravity's laws should be slightly adjusted at extremely low accelerations, such as those observed in the outer regions of galaxies. This adjustment implies a fundamental acceleration threshold below which Newton's laws of gravity no longer hold true. Instead, gravitational forces in these regions behave slightly differently than classical physics previously described. Such effects are conceivable in space, with some researchers even considering the existence of at least one more fundamental force in the universe that remains undiscovered. This additional force could account for these slight deviations. 
Mond can almost perfectly explain why stars in the outer regions of galaxies rotate faster than the visible mass of the galaxy would suggest, making dark matter unnecessary to explain the phenomenon. Moreover, Mond can also coherently explain the flat rotation curves of galaxies without the need for dark matter, as the gravitational force is not linear at very low accelerations but decreases more steeply. The theory originated in the early 1980s and was proposed by the Israeli physicist Mordechai Milgram. However, Mond never gained widespread recognition, as the scientific community at the time largely believed in dark matter. Tensor stands for tensor vector scalar gravity and represents a further development of Mond. Astrophysicist Jacob Bekenstein introduced scalar and vector fields to the current law of gravity, aiming to expand the general theory of relativity and account for various cosmological observations without relying on dark matter. Although the theory is coherent, it wasn't taken seriously, potentially another mistake. This theory slightly modified Einstein's field equations by altering the geometry of spacetime, leading to changed gravitational dynamics on large cosmological scales. Scalar and vector fields can be thought of as invisible forces distributed in space. Scalar fields act like uniformly distributed pressure or temperature changes, equally strong everywhere but lacking a sense of direction. Vector fields, on the other hand, are like the wind, possessing both strength and a clear direction in which they blow. These two fields are related to gravity or the motion processes in galaxies. They act as invisible helpers, determining the speed and direction in which stars and other objects in a galaxy move. Scalar fields give the stars a gentle push, making them move faster, while vector fields steer them in a particular direction, similar to how the wind propels and directs a sailboat. These fields help explain some inexplicable cosmic dance movements of the stars without the need for dark matter. Alternative theories like these have long been seen as contradictory to established traditional theories, which were once considered almost indisputable truths. However, everything has changed. We are now facing completely new discoveries that no longer align with old physics. Even the established theories have failed to fully describe and explain the entire universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is currently revolutionizing science with its observations. Galaxies like GN, Z11 and Max 0647, JD, with ages of 13.5 to 13.6 billion years, no longer fit the picture of the Big Bang, which is said to have occurred 13.8 billion years ago. These galaxies are not alone. Researchers have discovered dozens of other galaxies that are at least as old, if not older. Considering this, previous scientific theories may need to be re-evaluated. These galaxies require billions of years to evolve. The moment of their formation must have occurred before the Big Bang, which is not feasible. Therefore, the universe is likely much older than previously believed. Another explanation could be that stars and galaxies formed more rapidly, but there are currently no definitive theories for this. Nevertheless, many traditional researchers still favor this explanation, finding it challenging to move away from concepts like the Big Bang or the expansion of the universe. One individual who has demonstrated that a little ingenuity and an open mind can suffice is the Canadian researcher, Rajendra Gupta. The astronomer from the University of Ottawa proposed a new theory of gravity, combining the man theory with a variation of cosmic constants. Cosmic constants are forces in space considered to be consistent and are used as benchmarks. By considering the possibility that these constants are more flexible than previously believed, the universe could be 26.7 billion years old or even over 40 billion years old. Subscribe now to be part of every new video.